Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Gaming with Calvi Cal, Assassin's Creed 2 Edition. Uh, so I explored the town, I got the uh, viewpoint, um, there are statuettes you can find that you find throughout the town, and chests, collectibles essentially, um, and then you put them into um, stands around the outside of the building of the main house, um, and then it unlocks, they open, they give you money. Um, and they're also useful. I think they count towards when you become the manager, or when Claudia becomes the manager of um, Montegino Gioni. I can't pronounce it. Uh, so it increases how much money you make every 20 minutes. So uh, I think I do something with her, but there's a tutoring thing or the tutorial thing. I guess I'll just have to go through that because I don't want to skip important stuff just to. Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. Well, that was fast. Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Van Fakko. Now, mm, let's quick, get you quick -ish. fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Optimal. Optimal. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. You can swing a sword to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. No use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father was an assassin, Ezio. I told you before, my father was a paper pusher. No, he was born and bred to kill. I find this difficult to believe. What of the list you carry? Do you think it's merely a catalog of debts? It holds the names of those responsible for your father's murder. Nailed it. I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I figured you have the Codex page in folding as well. Shall we dance? Same past. <laughs> Avanti, stay on Ayano. Hey, you're a fucker. You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My oh. father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground where they continued a nefarious work. Well done, Nepote. You've really come into your own. Thank you, Uncle, for all you have given me. Your family, 
Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Uncle Mario. I'm sorry. Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stables. Go check on Maria. She reminds me of a West Side story. I'm just saying. Jokes. Good jokes. Witty banter. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. I guess it's time to leave. No need to be shy. Come forward. Hello, bye bye. Okay. Come on, what are you doing? Want to journey? I claim this chest for France. Tuscany, let's do this. Let's do this, shall we, everyone? Go kill some biatches. Hey, hey! Hello. Hello. It's you. What are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene, then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti? Let's do this. Da da da. Da da da. Okay, Mario. Come on, Mario. Mario! That's how my wife pronounces it. Mario. She's from New Jersey. If she watches this, she's gonna give me so much shit for making fun of her. But that's love, I guess. Alright, Ezio. Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Okay. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. I'll attack! Go!
The man, the man, man, the man, the man. Well done, Ezio. We are in. Thanks. This way, man. I do it again. Follow Mario. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Pieri. Va bene. Wait, nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. Okay. What's Pieri up to now? No one knows, but something has him on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? A signal again when you should follow. Instead, he's turned this into another. Don't worry. Santa Maria Santo, a Swanto, a Santo, a Swinto. Okay, I'm gonna get this. Get out of here. Ah, shit. Auto target. Come on. Gotta get this synchronization point. Uppity, 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 up, up, up. Oh, come on, you can read that. I'm such a douche. you do it. Boink. Hello gents, let's go. I see him there. Oh, right in the eye hole. Your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. All right, let's go kick some ass. Yeah, we're in combat. I get it. I get it. We're fucking in combat. Yeah, cool. 
Right, sure. Why the fuck not? Damn it. I wish I could uh, loot them. Ah, Nipote, there you are. It seems my plan is in something of a snag. Yeri's men ambushed us, and now we've got our hands full. My brothers and I will deal with these guards. I want you to go on ahead and root out that snake. See that justice is served. It's a little awkward that I just killed everybody, but whatever. Whatever. Oh, hey, a chest. This is for me. This is my Chris Merry Christmas. I'm a soldier, not a <laughs> Go kill the fucker. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. Fucking kill him! Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, no, it's fine. I can fucking use that as a weapon every other fucking time, but not this time. Let me go! You fucking dick. I fucking had him.
us need some help. One of us doesn't. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. What are you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che Brooke! Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Secrets. Something done. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey, Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a buttare. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. The Pazzi answered to another. Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia. One of the most powerful men in all of Europe. And leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right, that's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. What are you doing? Stop it, Ezio. Look familiar? On the codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. I already did that. I don't need to do it again.
I got overzealous, apparently. Didn't have to do it before. Shit! God damn it. already synchronized. I'm way ahead of you, game. Better than you give me credit for. sitting around town. I get that they want me to collect shit, but that doesn't make any sense. We just got them laying around the town, Doga. Go find them in the town. They are a der in the town places. Doing the thing. Oh, 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 oh. Get out of my way, fucker. There is no need for this again. You... Get off that ladder. Get up off of that thing! Want to make you feel better? Get out of my way. I have people to kill, things to see. Don't mess with me. Yeah. Yep, run into that tree. You're doing great. I got all the way here and didn't bring a horse. <laughs> all right, so go check on Claudia. All right, I believe that one is just going to be building things. So, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, like and comment. Uh, make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications about when my new videos are released. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a come out. Bye.